You dig? No, 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 shit. Hey, when I'm in town, parties go. You dig? No, 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 shit. Hey, when I'm in town, you dig? No, 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 shit. Hey, when I'm in town, parties go. Hey what's up guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do like some basic screen pumps because I got like requests to do it and I'm going to be doing it today. Um, so this is like just the normal basic screen pump effect. Uh, there, are, This is like very basic and it's not going to take that long but I'm going to show you the very basic screen pump and then I'm going to do some other like other screen pumps or like other effects that you get that you use when you know you know to show impact so as you see here i just have a single clip um i'm gonna be sh doing three different screen pumps on it you guys already saw the final product obviously so this is basically the clip let me just mute the audio first it's a very simple thing that we could very easily screen pump into so first you want to find the for, so for the first like the easiest one you want to find the screen pump point where you want to be pumping in which is going to be the kill I'm gonna put the kill around here you don't want to do the first frame that the shot hits you want to do like the second because you don't want it to be too you know to direct I guess you could say so the easiest way is these are pretty important numbers so you want to do the over here in the inspector and transform you want to do position X I mean zoom X and that's pretty much controls the zoom and you want to keyframe the middle frame go back to three frames or like probably like six frames if you're doing it on 60 fps but i'm on 24 so do three frames and then keyframe it again and then you go back six frames this time one two three four five six six frames this time and obviously if you're on 60 fps it's going to be 12 frames but anyways you go back to the middle frame middle keyframe and you zoom in a little and you could already see the effect here that doesn't have much of a screen pump effect so let's just try ahead go ahead and try to increase the screen pump zoom yeah, so that looks pretty good. You if you could probably extend back for like the second keyframe. So the second keyframe, you want to unkeyframe this, and you want to go to the very middle frame. Probably go with back ten frames, I'd say, and let's try this again keyframe it and reset it to one so it's normal so yeah that looks pretty good it would look really good with audio but right now it's just that anyways there is another way you could make this look even better so again go to the middle keyframe and you want to keyframe the rotation angle and then go back to the first keyframe keyframe the rotation angle last and then go to the last keyframe or keyframe the rotation angle and in the middle frame you want to rotate it a little bit um, so that's a little too much I'd say that looks pretty good you could like you probably should enter something smaller but this looks a lot better so but it does take a little more time so yeah that's the first effect and I'm gonna be showing you the second effect the second effect is going to be a little bit harder 
and it's gonna be for slower paced songs or like slower paced clips you know if you're a smooth builder you might want to use this more but anyways it's when the contact hits again okay so this frame we want to cut it Control V to cut and then we have the second frame here so we have the second clip or segment I guess you could say and you want to go ahead and first apply your color correction first because if you're going to do that then apply it but other than that if you don't I'm not going to be doing that so I just want to press alt hold down alt and drag up that makes another f um, frame I mean another a layer and that is the exact replica of this and you might want to ask like what is this for well you, you want to make sure you have the second selected and you want to drag the opacity down to around like 20 25 depends on your fl flavor and you want to go ahead and go to the first scene uh first key clip first frame with the keyframe it and then last frame you want to keyframe this too and for the last frame you want to just go ahead and zoom out a little like a, very, um, a lot and here's what it looks like it's i call this the anime effect like a ghost effect i guess you could say like that you could probably increase the opacity really quickly the 30 that would look I guess that would look yeah so that looks a lot better it's just like a ghosting effect I probably wouldn't use it for clips this long but yeah maybe if we cut this off and let's just just like this and yeah let's just go ahead and go to the very last frame and you want to go ahead and keyframe this frame and to be 1.5 or whatever so just let it render yeah that looks very good and it looks really good with slow face on as well and now the third thing I'm going to be showing you is going to be, um, uh, it's going to be a shake actually, it's not going to be a screen pump exactly, it's going to be a shake, but, like, the shake is going to look a lot bit better, but you kind of do need a better computer to handle this. My computer, while recording, probably can't really render this at full speed, so just go ahead and press control to get until we're all the way done. Okay, boom. So yeah, we got the just the uh, the original clip again, and the third thing you want to do, third uh, key, the third um, shake or screen pump whatever is gonna be a shake. So you want to go ahead and find that sweet spot again. Okay, right here control B right here so it's going to be um, a screen pump so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna go to effects library on the top left over here click on it and open FX you're gonna search up um, shake so camera shake drag it in it's free it's for the free version too so yeah you go ahead and drag open F FX and this looks very intimidating I know but all you're really gonna do is do these specific things you wanna go bump up the motion scale a little bit probably go to like a 1.125 um, actually no I mean you're probably won't, gonna wanna bump down the motion scale to like um, around I don't know 0.8 or 0.7 I'm gonna do 0.7 and let's see if this looks better so yeah and then the speed scale you want to bump that all the way up I wish this could go over two but it can't 
so you're gonna have to stay stay with this motion blur we're gonna apply that last and the pan so you're gonna drag the pan all the way to zero drag the rotation all the way to zero and you're gonna have some um, rotation to zero and then you're gonna have um, tilt you're gonna want to bump that up a little bit so 4.4 looks good but so yeah that looks really good you could probably bump up bump, bump the motion scale even a little more and now is where the hard part to run is going to be it's going to be the motion blur you're gonna want to crank that up a little actually you're gonna crank that up a lot more than just that and you see my computer is completely freezing but I'm gonna be rendering in the final effect right here so it's gonna be easier for you guys to see it but anyways that's literally it it's really hard to render especially for my computer anyways that's literally it for this tutorial and i hope you guys enjoyed it leave a like if you did and if this helped you out you know what to do leave the like and subscribe and yeah this is pretty much it i guess see you guys next time peace